Welcome everybody to this new video Tech Press. Today let's quickly cruise your topic how to smoothly withdraw money from Wise to your bank account. So in this tutorial, let's look into your Wise account first of all. To initiate the withdrawal process, log into your Wise account. As you should see, we are already here in our Wise account. So if you don't have one yet, sign up to the Wise website. Once logged in, navigate to the account dashboard. So what you wanted to do here, first of all, is to locate the stuff here. And to the left part, you wanted to go for transfer through your bank account. You might be seeing that you have money here directly. And if you wanted to send your money, your balance directly into your account, there's two solutions that you can choose. First of all, is to go directly into the card. Now, a WISE card is an actual credit or debit card that were created for people who are resident only into the United States. So if you're not uh, legally living here in the United States, what you can do is to go for the next step, which is choosing a bank transfer. Let's go directly here into payments. Inside payments, what you want to do is to go directly inside the account details and let's go for see all. Now here, what you want to do is that you can ask for an account details such as an USD dollar, an Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, and so much more. So let's say for example that I wanted to get an account details for a specific uh, currency, for example the British pound. I go for get account details and automatically it's going to be generating an account details where I can receive that amount of money directly into the WISE account. Now, if I wanted to send this money, this local money or this international money directly into my account, what you want to do is to go directly into the receipts. What we want to do is to generate a new receipt. In that case, that will be ourselves to receive that money into our banking account. So let's go for add receipt into the upper side. So in this case, we're going to be asking you if it's going to be a business charity, somebody else or only yourself. Of course, you want to choose myself. Now here it's going to be asking you what is the currency that you want to receive into your bank account. So this is totally optional. This is totally depending on where are you currently based and what is the amount of money, what is the currency that your bank allows. For example, let's say United States, like a dollar. So with that information, it's going to be spreading up this new section that we needed to add the bank details, uh, all the ACH or wire or SWIFT, all the three elements and go for confirmed. After you confirmed all your information, you might be appearing your actual account here, down here. So what I wanted to do is to choose my account and make sure that I have all the information about my actual banking account and all the confirmation been set it up. Now that I do have my money here inside of WISE, what you want to do is to hit inside send, the green section that says send. What's going to happen here is that you send exactly, you want to send all the money or just a partial of that money. But let's say, for example, that I want to be selling, sending a hundred dollars. So let's go here, a hundred dollars, receiving gets hundred dollars. So later on here, you can see what is the actual fee they're going to be charging us. The total fee should arrive by and go for continue. Once again, this is totally depending on where you're currently living. Now, who are we sending the money to? I go for add the receipt and go for myself. Inside of myself, usually here should be appearing all my account that can be receiving the currency that you have just selected. If you don't see your account, you don't have to worry about it. Just add once again all the information about your bank details, the ACH, the wire and the SWIFT information. So if you want to get more information uh, of how you can get all of these files, you can always go here and down here where it says help and they might be helping you to find out how to get the routing number, how to get your account number, how to see if this one is a checking or savings account, uh, how to get the swifting information about your uh, your bank account and all of that. After you hit into confirmed, then you just make the review process of how it's gonna be looking your money transfer and then lastly you make the payment. Now, if I go directly into my WISE account, I'm gonna go into the receipts and the transactions. Now, this might be looking uh, different for you guys, but this is just an example of how it actually looks that I have just sent the update of the money the same day that I sent the money, the same day that I received it directly into my banking account, all because all of this information is not be provided and verified directly here into WISE. 
what you wanted to do is just to make sure that you are okay with the actual fees and you make sure that you have the right information from your banking account and of course well that you have all the info directly inside wise you can hit into the details to see how is your money monitor usually it doesn't take more than two days but depending on where you're currently living and depending on what is the currency you're going to be sending directly into your banking account well, congratulations now because you have successfully withdrawn money from Wise to your banking account. So if you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more financial insights, hit that notification bell, and well guys, we wish you to simply and secure with Laura's with Wise. See you next time.